amputee veterans in the Philadelphia area gathered recently for camaraderie and a round of golf as they took part in the fifth annual Next Step Golf Clinic. The goal of the clinic is to provide veterans the tools they need to play a game of golf on their own and motivate them to continue along the path of rehabilitation and recovery. Today we're at the Pittman Golf Course in Sewell, New Jersey, and we're here for the Amputee Veterans Next Step Golf Clinic held by the Philadelphia VA Medical Center. They come out here with their peers and they get to play in a nine-hole tournament with one of their veteran amputee peers, a VIP, as well as a professional golfer on each team. That's the Timmy I remember. There you go. That we're trying to get them to lead a full and productive life which includes sports, recreational activities in the community, not always centered around rehabilitation. Teaching someone with a disability the golf swing is no different than teaching somebody else with the golf swing. The golf swing remains constant. It's what you do with the disability and those restrictions that matters. They get a lot of confidence when they come here for the game of golf and for being physically active, but what you find is that sort of transfers over into the rest of their lives. And you see that they're more confident as individuals to try new things and to get out there a little bit more. So really, it does wonders for mind, body, and soul. I was involved in a crash on September 22nd, 1993. One moment you're, you're free and you're 28 and you're, you think you're king of the world because you're flying a $30 million jet and uh, life is good. And then the, in the next instant, your life's totally changed. Everything I'd worked for was gone. It was over. I was with the United States Marine Corps from 93 to 96. We did deploy over to the Persian Gulf, and we rode around in Zodiacs, the rubber rafts, and right leg hung over the gunnel tube, left leg, left leg hung in the gunnel tube, and the right leg got crushed by one of our own Zodiacs. I was in the burn center at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio. My fiance, she was there the whole month I was in intensive care. And then the other two months that I was going through multiple surgeries, she would fly back and forth to be there for me. And those are the things that really matter in life. It's not airplanes, cars, houses, none of that stuff, you know. It's what she gave me and what we give each other. By asking someone about their disability, to get to know what the restrictions are, and shows that that golf teacher cares about that individual enough to know what he's working with so that he could really help him. And the person with the disability realizes that, and that's where the first bond becomes between the teacher and the student. I was very hesitant about coming out to the first swing in April of 11, but I'm glad I did, because not only did I find it therapeutic in that sense, but I was able to be around men and women who were in very similar situations. I was uh, wounded in Vietnam in 1969. Uh, I was with the 82nd Airborne Division. Um, I was blown up. I was uh, blown up by a booby-trapped mortar round, and I spent uh, eight or nine months in the hospital uh, with several surgeries and uh, rehabilitation uh, before I got out in uh, January of 1970. I started walking in November of 1969, and uh, I didn't start golfing until only about 20 years ago. When they came back from Vietnam, somebody had to guide them, and they had to find their way through it. And they spent well over 30 years teaching other guys, guiding them through. And they're also mentors of life, because they live their life, even though they're double amputees, they're fine, they're happy. And once you get a, an amputee veteran, who may not have been very active, to hit a golf ball. Then a light bulb goes off in their head and says, well, if I can do this, what else can I do? He stood up and he started swinging with the pro teaching him. And I was sitting back with other veterans that were in wheelchairs that had prostheses. And they said, if he can do it with one leg, I can do, I can try it with two. So after the clinic, we told him that and his face lit up and he hasn't missed one since. I'm out here for inspiration. Everyone's telling me they're getting inspiration from me because I don't have a prosthetic and can't use a prosthetic. We've seen a lot of repeat veterans coming back because they enjoyed the clinic and they want to get more and further their knowledge and experience. Then they're telling their peers about it and they're bringing in more amputees to come in to try it for the first time. 
I have a wife and three beautiful kids who supported me 100% of the way. And when my son sees tonight when I come home and show him the trophy, he's going to be ecstatic that, you know, dad won, you know, compared to where they've seen me before and where I'm at now. So it's, it's, it's really exciting. It's our goal to see that they're out there being active and healthy and involved in their community and not sitting at home when there's so much out there that they can do. I lost focus on the things that were important. And then I realized that my drive all through my life was to serve others. Whatever I end up doing, I want to make sure that it has something directly involved with helping veterans. To learn more about rehabilitation and recovery options available at VA, contact your local VA Medical Center.